Okay, so we've seen Kirsten cook her beautiful leg of lamb, Peter Gilmore and his awesome, elegant lamb loin. So I'm going to show you a really easy, super delicious lamb recipe. But first, we're going to make some garlic mash. So take a head of garlic, touch of olive oil on some foil, a pinch of sea salt, and chuck it in the oven. We'll give that 40 minutes, 200 degrees. It's pretty hot, but we want that garlic, the natural sweetness and sugars to caramelize and concentrate. I'm going to use that to flavor the most amazing mashed potato. Now let's talk about the lamb. So we're using the lamb rack. You could use any cuts for this if you liked, but lamb rack is, is fantastic. To maximize the results of any protein and give you a beautiful, even cook and fantastic result, you want to pull it out and bring it up to room temp. This will take about an hour. So I've got some flaked salt and a decent amount of black pepper. And then on the flesh side, we're just going to season it with a touch of flour. Set that aside. All right, so the garlic has had about 40 minutes to cook, taken from the hot oven. Gently prise the tinfoil open with his chef's hands, but use some tongs if you like. So I'm actually going to leave that to rest as well. But what you get is this beautiful, slightly smoky, nutty, creamy, sweet garlic flesh. Next, the mashed potatoes. All right, so we've got some Dutch cream potatoes. We've cooked these off in salted boiling water for about 40 minutes until they're overcooked. Strain them off. And then we're going to flavor these with that beautiful garlic. This is your old school French classic potato. And with all classic French mashed potato dishes, of course, you need a decent amount of butter. So a couple of decent knobs straight in. Then we're going to take the wooden spoon and gently fold that through to melt the butter. We'll grab some cream. Now, classically, you'd warm this up. We're not going to. We're just going to pop this straight in. It's, it's home cooking. We don't want to use a thousand pans. Gently fold that through. That's ready to be seasoned with our garlic. So, so we're going to cut the garlic in half, and then what you're left with with this beautiful garlic puree. So we'll squeeze that in with the hand, just discard the skin, and then I'm just going to mash it up. And just carefully mash this through. You don't want to sort of overwork this potato, otherwise it will become um, a little bit gluey. So you kind of want to avoid that. So there is our garlic mashed potato. All right, set that aside. Now it's the lamb. All right, so a touch of oil, and then fat side down. And then we're going to slowly render that for about four or five minutes, just to cook away some of that lamb fat. Tom's lamb is absolutely stunning. It's marbled, it's tender, it's, it's unique, it's very, very clean. It's, it's very fatty, and like most fat, you will get a cap on that underside, which is great to render down. Now, I'm not going to waste that fat. Animal fats are fantastic, they're nutritious, they're flavoursome, so I would often just pour that into a jar and keep that in the fridge, which I'd use to cook um, vegetables or fry eggs in in the morning. Lamb's at about three or four minutes now to render down, to give it that golden colour, like so. It's absolutely stunning lamb. I'll pop it aside, pour off those that excess fat, because I'm going to use these pan juices to make a gravy, and I don't want it super greasy. And next, we're going to chop up a few things to flavour our sauce. So grab a couple of shallots, some onion if you like, some spring onion. We'll chop this up, set that aside. So we're going to use some parsley to, to, to garnish our lamb with, so I really like to use the parsley stalks. Again, loads of uses, oils, vinaigrettes, dressings, stocks and sauces. We're going to slice these up and then just throw these straight in the pan. And then some red wine. And this is going to deglaze that pan. Crank up your heat. Give them a little shake just to agitate everything. So as you can see, there's all these sort of like caramelized flavors on the bottom of the pan where it is rendering. And that's the goods. That's going to produce a really rich, flavorsome gravy. And next, we're going to take some of the Marcel beef stock, and we're going to add that over our red wine. Lamb and rosemary, of course, the best mates. And then finally, the secret ingredient. So we're going to use some quince. So quince is going to be great because it's going to give it a sweetness and a sort of tartness as well, which is going to be awesome for the lamb. I'm just going to mash this down with the back of a spoon, just to give them a little bit of a helping hand. Grab the lamb, lamb in. And already that's looking pretty good. So what's going to happen now, we're going to roast it 
at 200 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. About 12, 15 minutes for medium rare, a touch longer if you want it medium well. The sauce is going to cook down, it's going to reduce, and then the natural juices from the lamb itself will thicken and enrich that beef stock. It's going to be pretty amazing. Okay, so the lamb's now had, it's had 15 minutes. So I'm going to take him out. Woohoo! And as you can see, so that sauce has reduced nicely. It's actually almost there. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the lamb out. Grab yourself some foil. I'm just going to cover this for about 10 minutes. And that's just going to allow it to relax and just to retain all those beautiful juices. So it'll be nice and succulent and beautiful and tender. Whilst that's doing that, I'm going to bring down this sauce and we're going to finish this with a decent amount of butter. So it's going to slightly thicken it. It'll give it a nice body, the beautiful sheen. Obviously add a bit of salt as well. Any fat that is on top, the butter is going to help emulsify it all. Oh, that's, that's lovely. So now you're ready to plate up. We'll take some of this amazing garlic mash. And the lamb itself, is beautiful and rested onto a board. And because we've covered it in that tin foil, we don't need to reflash it, reheat it. We can now just carve it up. Take some lamb, we'll just arrange that on top. Looks pretty cool. And then it does need a bit of texture. Everything's quite soft and rich, so it needs a bit of crunch. And I'm just gonna use the humble green bean. Then pop them over our lamb, which is beautiful. Take some of the sauce pour it over the top. It's nice to see a little bit of the, the meat itself, so you don't need to drown it in the stuff. A little bit of the parsley, and then just cut through the richness of the lamb and that sauce itself. Just grab yourself a lemon. I'm gonna go old school. I'm just gonna serve it with the old classic lemon wedge. And that would be dinner right there. So I'll give him a little taste. That's everything it needs to be. So we've had Kirsten's awesome leg of lamb, Peter Gilmore's elegant lamb loin. But you know what? Sometimes you can't beat a good old lamb cutlet for dinner. With that beautiful garlic mash, quince, black pepper. I'm pretty stoked with that. Give it a go.